Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Black Hellions from Daniel Madison, Illusionist, and Oban Jones. This is a new release. I have no idea when it'll actually be released, released, which is kind of ironic because when I did the first red tuck case, Black Hellion deck. I got those before they were public release as well. And so even in that video, I said, I don't know when they're gonna be released. So and again, I don't know when they're gonna be released. I even asked Illusionist and they told me they didn't know either. So there you go. Uh, but this is a recolor, okay? It's a recolor of the tuck case and the back design. Uh, we'll get to that. And uh, it's also a new printer. So again, this is another Illusionist release through Cardamundi, okay? So I, know I can't say, I can't speak to, why so many releases now with Cardamundi? I don't. I can't tell you if they're switching over to Cardamundi for good and they're completely leaving Bicycle. Can't say. Uh, I'm sure they love the product because a lot of people love this Cardamundi B9 stock. So, I, and I assume uh, the decks are probably less expensive to print with because it's not Bicycle and Bicycle is notoriously uh, expensive and because they're so popular, they're a little slower to work with. But you know what? That's a question for Illusion not me, so can't answer those questions for you. But the tuck case is exactly like the previous one, except it is black now. So black front, says Hellions, you got that devil tail and that original tuck seal. Of course, the tuck is upside down. Okay, the tuck is upside down. Uh, each side has embossed lettering. Uh, one side says, don't play cards, and the other side says, with the devil. And that is a song by Daniel Johnston. Uh, you got Daniel Madison's logo on the bottom in red. And then you have the front of the tuck case, or the back, however you want to look at it, uh, with a new red back. And these are red back cards. The original uh, Hellions was black back, so these are red back. So. Old one, red tuck case, black cards. New one, black tuck case, red cards. Got it. The top of the tuck case has some ad copy for Illusionist. And the inside tuck lining is all printed out in red with black ink. And then you have two little extra features on the sides. If you look way down inside, you have a little sexy devil there. And then on the inside of mine, I've got some, I think it's just generic printing information. The two inside tuck flaps have some ancient symbology. And you can check out my previous Red Hellions review for some more in-depth looks at those things as well. And I'll put the link below in the description. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. So like I said earlier, these are a red backed deck. And again, going forward, this is just a recolor. So you've seen all of this, especially if you've watched reviews for the black backed cards or if you own them, okay? If you own them, I mean, this is just a recolor. Everything is gonna be exactly the same. The back design, of course, is a homage. It's a tribute to the David Blaine Gatorbacks. Uh, David's deck is a bunch of alligator you know, symbols, and this one is, well, it's devils. And a Hellion is just really a rowdy kid, right? You have a rowdy kid or some uncontrollable teenager, and you'd, you'd call them a Hellion. That's kind of what a Hellion is. Some people have asked if the back design is a marked deck. It is not a marked deck, but Daniel Madison did say that uh, he put some ways built into it that it could be easily made into a marked deck if you wanted it to be. With this deck, you're gonna get a double backer. It's the back design on one side, and on the other side, it's a devil's hand, ooh. And your second extra card is a gaff card that has dual pips, and you would use this in Michael Skinner's ultimate three-card Bonnie. Your ace of spades in this deck is just a normal small ace pip because the power ace in this deck is the ace of diamonds and it says don't play cards with the devil and you've got the devil in a three-piece suit with a cane. Your pips and indice cards are gonna be a little bit custom. I think the pips are a little smaller in the center and you'll notice in the red cards, they all have a black outline. Your court cards are gonna be the same exact courts that you had previously with the other version of the Hellions. Of course, Daniel Madison is on the King of Diamonds and a lot of his friends are on some of the other cards. The King of Hearts is a one-way image and then the rest of the courts that are remaining that are not custom, they all have their eyes closed as if to say that they are dead or asleep. But that's just how the cards look. You also wanna know how they handle. It's a new Cardamundi stock. What the heck? What's going on? How do these cards feel? All right, so if you've had the Cardamundi B9 stock before, you've held those, if you've held the Cobras before, uh, you, or the Copag 310s, you kind of know already how these cards feel. They're going to feel like that. In fact, if I stick 10 of these and put them in a caliper, it comes to 
3.09, 3.09 is pretty thick. 3.09 is pretty thick. Um, these are thinner than the Madisonist cards. Okay, thinner than that, but they're thicker than the Cobras. So if you have the Cobras, yeah, it's a little thicker than that. The old school Hellions were 280, okay? They were 280, so they were right on the edge of being a casino grade stock, like right on the edge, okay? But these are way thicker, so way thicker cards, but the B9 stock, of course, if you've had it, you know it feels awesome. Well, that's pretty much everything I can say about the new red-backed Hellions or the new black tuck-cased Hellions, however you wanna call them. I think they're the version fours now, right? Aren't they the version fours? There's three versions out before this. These would be version four, I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh, keep watching illusionist.com and keep watching their social media for a release date and i'll see you guys again soon thanks bye